many organizations, they, while you are correct that so, a lot of times companies are exploited because of they, they overlook some basic things, that's not quite the point that we're getting at here. The point more is that people actually think they're doing it right and they're not. And so to illustrate essentially what is uh, on the screen here, so you've got these sort of fundamental stages, right, which are uh, analyzing the design, run scanners, and looking for known vulnerabilities. And what's really interesting about this is that when, when people are talking about their penetration testing, but it's really just vulnerability scanning, they're not even getting all of the fundamentals. They're not getting the, that first step, which is analyzing the design. And this is important because the design is significant, right? A scanner doesn't care whether this application is used in financial services or if it's used in uh, healthcare or it's used in media entertainment. But the attacker does and the defender definitely does, right? We, th that matters, like who the system is built for, how it works. Those things are, are really important. And so when we rely on this really scan-oriented approach, which unfortunately is what a lot of security testing is today, um, we overlook that. The things that are in the advanced tactics, uh, these are the things that are, they require uh, more skill and more expertise, and they can't largely be done through tool automation, but they're the stuff that absolutely destroy companies. So I'll give you just a quick example. I won't go through all of them. I mean, this one slide is like, you know, like 15 minutes of stories, but I'll give one to just sort of illustrate the point. If we talk about um, uh, chaining exploits as an example. So chaining exploits is when you combine two or more things. And when they're combined, they deliver this even more significant outcome than either of them could on their own. So. An example of this came from a project that we did recently, and it had two issues. The first issue is what's called information leakage. Now, information leakage, it means uh, a system is giving up information that it shouldn't. Now, it's not really the end of the world. Uh, it's not even directly exploitable. You just don't want it to happen. In this case, information leakage, uh, what the issue meant was that any user could identify any other user in the system. That's not exploitable. It's not that big of a deal. You just don't want it to happen. The second issue is what's called broken authorization. So authorization is when a system uh, verifies whether or not you're allowed to do something. And it being broken means that it does that incorrectly. So in this case, it, meant it had to do with how you change credentials. So we've all changed passwords before in our life, right? And uh, usually what you have to do is you have to supply information, right? You have to say, well, what's the old password? in order to verify that you are allowed to change to a new password. So this system did ask you to supply information, but didn't ask you to supply the password. It asked you to supply the user identifier. Now in theory, each user only knows their own user identifier. But when you combine that issue with the information leakage where any user can identify any other user, it means that any, combining these two issues means that any user of the system can take over the account of any other user of the system, including the admin users. Could literally do it to every single account in the system and completely destroy the system. And we're talking complete system takeover. These are the kinds of things that are really, really, really important that only a human who can kind of like connect these dots will be able to do that. And that's where this problem, it's, it's such a nuanced and complex problem when we talk about like, I need penetration testing, but then all I'm getting is vulnerability scanning, but I really need vulnerability assessments. This is the kind of thing where it manifests and you might not even realize that it's happening. Actually, you almost certainly won't realize that it's happening. 